The Square Tower in Broad Street was built in 1494, commissioned by Henry VII. It cost £2,000 and 6D, the equivalent of millions of pounds today. Often a venue for special occasions, including weddings and wakes, the Square Tower can also be used as a film location. We've had filming happen here before, and they just took over the place for a, a few days. It was extra I've never had any concept of how much stuff is needed with filming. And they brought it all in, did their stuff, and, and it was fantastic. I think it is a beautiful building. The outside of the tower doesn't show the beauty of the ancient brickwork inside here. Essentially, on the outside, it's Victorian stone cladding. But when you look around the inside of the tower, there's all kinds of quirky, great, fantastic ancient stonework and brickwork that I think is truly amazing. Film Expo South is a one-day event offering networking, collaboration and engagement with workshops, seminars and industry speakers to springboard the region's film-making opportunities. Up on the roof of the Square Tower, the founder of Film Expo South explained why it's worth filmmakers making contact with Portsmouth City Council at the Expo. They're there to help filmmakers and uh, we've got a couple of other film councils that are coming um, to the event as well and they can help with um, you know, locations, um, access, closing roads, you name it, getting people involved, getting extras, getting additional crew to help out. There's loads, loads of things they can do to help. Some cities aren't quite so supportive. Uh, in Portsmouth we kind of really recognise the benefits of filming and do go out of our way to support filmmakers while they're here. We have a, a film office centrally in the council uh, and we act as a main liaison point. Um, so we're quite fortunate that because we're a, a unitary authority, we manage our own highways, so things like road closures we can arrange in-house. Um, it's also kind of obviously as, as quite a sort of closely knit city. Um, we've got lots of contacts with location owners and, and sort of most of the, the really interesting and in-demand properties we have a good sort of ongoing relationship with. And back to the Square Tower, which has a rich history. There's been a number of things in its, its history. It had a huge part to play in the Civil War. Um, the, this was the governor of Portsmouth's residence and Colonel Goring, who lived here, uh, negotiated really good terms um, by threatening to blow up the gunpowder that was in here. And as a consequence of that, uh, was able to, as I say, get really good terms. And as he left, he rode away. He threw the key to the tower into the water as a defiant gesture to, to the royalists. And much, much later, it was actually found. Divers went down and found the original key. I believe it's in the museum store now. The fireplace was built. It was one of the original features of the tower. It was uh, uh, used as the main bit where the governor who lived here would have met and greeted people. And when Henry VIII himself came to Portsmouth, he would have stayed in this building and would have been here in the evenings, looking at the fire with his, his goblet in his hand, swearing properly, and, and uh, right here where we are now. Why do you believe that he was here? Uh, uh, John Stedman, the city historian, uh, Dr Stedman I should call him, tells me that it is almost certain because this is the logical place. He wouldn't have stayed at the castle because that was uh, for, uh, as a working fortification and this was the nearest place and it was a royal building and it was secure. So it's, it's almost certain that he stayed here but there's no sort of evidence that that's the case. The city's brand manager says it's Portsmouth diversity that makes it a fantastic area for filming. We've got obviously kind of the history that everyone knows about with the naval history and the forts and castles um, but we've also got city scenes, uh, modern buildings, um, sort of the hustle and bustle of a modern city and it's also close together here. Very handy if you're carting camera equipment around. This is Shan Robbins for That's Solent.